North, South, East, West, the deal, Milk Gang. Y'all already know how it's going to go. And to the ones on their first time log in, welcome to It's Milk TV. Now, come on. So, look, I noticed that a big percentage of you guys are unsubscribed recurring viewers. Y'all watching these videos, but y'all ain't hitting the subscribe button. So, look, hit the subscribe button right now, bro, so you won't end up in the Gilligan zone. Now, let's get it on. Rapper Swifty Blue. Got ran up on at a gas station, bro. Yeah, Swifty Blue, Loke, the one that said any Mexican or Hispanic rapper, entertainer, podcaster, comedian outside of California, when they come to Southern California, they got to check in with him. So we going to go. We going to see how this played out. Let's see what's the script. Come on. This nigga Swifty tripping It's with the blue ray. Scary nigga, fuck, fuck cheese fight, nigga, fuck cheese fight, nigga. Scary ass. I know. Nigga, fuck the scary ass, nigga, you ain't fucking on me. Fuck the body here, nigga. Yeah, Kevin, that's right, let your shit know. I'm fucking back there. See, y'all might call him Swifty Blue, but after this situation, I might got to call him Swifty Boo Boo or Swifty Goofy, Swifty Goof Troop. Nah, that's too close. Nah, I'm not doing that. Swifty Goofy, you know, Swifty Boo Boo. Like, how are, but bro, them look like children. Them look like young teenagers. You sitting there getting into it with some kids at a gas station? You sitting there game banging on some kids at a gas station, bro. You almost, you you probably in your 30s. And this is what you stooping to, bro. You the person that any Hispanic or Mexican rapper, entertainer, anybody with some type of clout supposed to come check in when they land in Los Angeles? That got to be a joke. There's no way, bro. And you supposed to say you got motion, you supposed to be getting dough, you making all this money. If some little kid threw something at your car, man, what is you really sweating it for? You gonna hop out the car and crash out on them in broad daylight under the surveillance cameras? You gonna blow everything you got going for some kids, bro? If I was in a situation and some kids said something to me, they threw something at my car, I'm chunking that up to the game. I'm going to just think like, man, I know I didn't throw something at somebody car before. So I'm chunking that up. Why are you sitting there arguing with some kids? And they better be lucky, bro, that they ran into Swifty Boo Boo. And not nobody solid, bro. Not nobody that don't care. Not nobody that's going to take it there. Like these kids got to, they got to stay in their place. But I mean, the little boy is probably banging, bro. He probably out there. So he's doing what he's going to do, but it's up to Swifty Boo Boo to move correctly, bro. Now, I don't know what happened. I, I don't know if these kids tried to bang on you and, and you and you fed into that. But why are you even at a gas station in the area like that? And why every time a video pop up with you, most would say the situation was handled by you. It was booble. The way you handled the situation was booble. This is booble. You sitting here getting to it with some kids at a gas station, bro. And then you pull up to their school, bro. You pulled up to their school. What was you going to do? You was about to go crash out on them at school? Or you was already caught in your feelings? Which one was it? But either one, it's like that that's some fool shit. What what you was going up there? What you was gonna go snitch on him? You was about to go say, yeah, this the little guy, he had to go here. He threw something at my car. Like, what was you going up there for? You let like a little 16, 17, 15, 16, 17 year old boy get you out of your character like that? Man, that is crazy, bro. Then you get yourself arrested. I mean, I hope he wasn't dirty because if he was dirty, now this is a case on top of another case. 
And I hope you got bail money, bro. Because you know the shit I've been hearing, I don't think you want to go to the county jail, Lord. I don't know if you want to put on them dark blues. You know, maybe when you was a Swifty Blue, you put on them dark blues. But I'm calling you Swifty Boo Boo. So you probably going to have to put on them powder blues in the county jail, bro. But I don't know. This, this shit is pitiful, you know. Um, it's a it's another video that we about to look at of him like just like arguing with this young teenager. Let's go. Now this is wild. Like, like he, like, I'm gonna have to rate him a negative nine point four on the Gilligan scale. He went out like a Gilligan. Oh well, like, whatever happened in the dark, it will come to the light, man. He's moving like a Gilligan. A person like you that's claiming to be in a position to win, you got motion, bro. Why are you at a gas station over there anyway? You still like, what are you doing over there? Why are you by teenage kids, man? It's starting. Shit, that's what I'm saying. When you do certain stuff, it just open doors for people to have their thoughts, bro. What are you even doing over there? It could be a hundred explanations, but you know, man, man I don't know. But what I want to do know, why is Swifty Blue and these other Mexicans or Hispanics using the N word, especially? I mean, period. They shouldn't be saying it, but especially when they're from like a South Side hood, when they're a Mexican gang banger that's not from a Crip blood, a, a black gang, bro. And they shouldn't even be saying it then, but why are they saying this N-word so much? So comfortable. I don't understand that either, but Swifty Boo Boo went out bad. This is horrible. You ain't supposed to be moving like this. You gotta be in your 30s or almost in your 30s and you moving like this, bro. You think a person like me with motion, bro, gonna be riding around. I'm gonna be on Manchester and Fig, or I'm, I'm gonna be jumping out on gas stations on Slauson and Fig, like pressing people or trying to like bang on children. It, like, I'm gonna be pulling, I'm gonna be going by Crenshaw High, jumping out on people, bro. Or I'm gonna just be going to any gas station in LA, just like looking for kids to gang bang or get into it with shit with, get into it with them. This was it, it, this was just jekyllish all the way around. I don't know what else to say. This is horrible, bro. And you see why I be by myself? Now, what if I was riding with Swifty Boo Boo? What if I was, like, linked up with him and chilling with him, and then he pull up to his gas station, and then I'm in there getting me so, uh, something. I, I don't even know what I'm going to be getting, but I'm getting something, and then I come back out, and he getting into it with some kids, bro. I'm just look at that shit and walk off, Logan. I ain't even going to lie. Man, that shit is crazy, but is he Swifty Blue or is he Swifty Boo Boo? I told you I rated it a negative 9.4 on the Gilligan scale. What y'all going to rate it? Let me know below. Don't be no unsubscribed recurring viewer. That's Gilligan Activity. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. And I'm out of here. I'll log back in at the next video.